That's, it's been really good. It was, it was great to get that win in the 600 and, and put together a full race like we did. Um, it's, it's awesome to be part of Hendrick Motorsports and with what I felt like uh, the, play, you know, the company, the, all four cars have been really strong from the start of the year. And once Jimmy broke through at uh, Darlington and won that race, uh, we've been able to go on a little roll. So it's, uh, I think our cars are great. The teams are working really well together. And uh, I've enjoyed being part of that, and hopefully Dover will be good for us too. I f felt like there in first practice, we got pretty good at the end of it, and you know we have another hour and a half to to work more. We'll open it up for questions for Casey. Please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. We'll start right over here to the left with uh, Viv. Viv Bernstein, NASCAR.com. I wonder if it confidence uh, plays into that as well and mindset. Having seen your organization win three in a row, do you, do you bring a different mindset to to Dover? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you, you come here and you know that uh, we're definitely capable. And, you know, but I've actually felt like that all season long. I felt like my car was like I had really fast cars from the drop of the greens at uh, Daytona and Phoenix and all, all the tracks. So, you know, I think just the way that the teams have put together the solid finishes in the last three weeks is, has been good. And that gives you some extra confidence and momentum for sure. Okay. Questions for Casey, please raise your hand. Right here, we got two up front. Casey, Pat Princeby with WGAL TV. This seems to be a track more than most that you run where you either get it or you don't. Why is that, do you think? I think the it's, it's tough. Uh, the, the concrete is part of it, and then just the high speeds. And there's some roughness to the track as well. Um, you know, the entries are really tricky. And then keeping your car, you know, to rotate the center and the second, you kind of have two ape, like you get down on the white line again on the second apex of the corners. And it's uh, in order to kind of get your car to do all that stuff, you just have to, you know, figure out how to do it and, and realize how to do it as a driver and the guys you're working with. So, you know, it's to me, it's just a tricky track. I mean, there's the corners look really similar, but it's as difficult as any track we go to probably to, to get the whole track right and to have that balance. Uh, throughout a whole 400 lapper here. Okay, we'll take our next question right here up front. Andrew Koch, WGMD Radio, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Uh, what is it like driving for a team where, because it seems like this team, because it seems like right now all the momentum in the world is squarely on the side of Hendrick Motorsports, and every week it seems like either you or Jimmy or Dale Jr. have a chance to win. Even uh, Jeff has a chance to win every single week. I think it's... It's a lot of, you know, it's a, it's a great place. They put a lot into it. Mr. Hendrick gives us everything we need. And and just with everything that Hendrick Motorsports has and then what uh, I think Kenny Francis and, and my engineer Keith Rodden have kind of brought to the table as well um, with, you know, we've been through three different organizations basically in the last three years. So there's a lot of uh, just kind of information that those those guys brought, brought along. And it's just kind of all, we're all, kind of running similar setups and our, our cars feel similar and we're thinking and talking about the same stuff so I think it's just a lot of good people working together and I've been been able to work with uh, my teammates really well they've you know and we've been on the same page you know that doesn't always happen and right now it's it's been happening that way additional questions for Casey okay we'll take one in the middle from Jeff Hey, Casey, Jeff Hood from RacingToday.com. With all the extra practice time coming up at Pocono in Michigan, I'm just curious, how do you and your team, sp specifically your team, kind of plan to keep things in balance? And it's going to be grueling, but um, how do you kind of keep things in check so that your guys don't get burned out over the next two weeks? I don't know. I think Pocono, I mean, that's – it feels like we're going to be there a full week, which three days is usually pretty long at Pocono. So I feel like it's going to be a, you know, just – try to be smart about it, run as much as we need to, but not more than we need to. You know, we've already done the tire test there. So for the five guys, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, it's a, it's going to be a, a long week there. And then Michigan, it'll just be nice to get some extra laps. You know, it's always nice to be able to test because we don't get to test a lot with these cars. But, you know, for, uh, you know, Wednesday through Sunday, that's a, that's a long time at Pocono. I think Michigan will be great to have that extra day and just be able to try to figure a few extra things out. Go ahead. Hey, Casey, Jeremy Elliott, Patriot News. Uh, you had a 
pretty good year that the year you won eight races and finished eighth in points but do you feel this year is your best chance of contending for a title and also is there any pressure with that knowing you're with Hendrick uh, I th yeah I mean you just look at where I've been and where I'm at now and the opportunities that I have and you know what uh, Hendrick Motorsports has done over the last six seven years well you can look a lot further than that, but um, yeah, to be where I'm at now, I think it's definitely the best opportunity I've had to win races, um, compete for a championship. I mean, do do all that stuff, and that's something that I've always looked forward to. Hopefully, having that type of an opportunity, and I have it now, so just try to take advantage of it and do the best that we can. But yeah, it's a. I mean, you can't ask for much more in this series than than where I'm at and and the guys I get to work with right now.